Welcome to English Composition 1. In this course you will learn how to be a particular kind of hacker. You should not worry if you don't have any computer skills. We won't be learning how to hack computers as you might expect. Instead, we will be learning how to hack language to make it more useful for your various purposes. We are your anonymous English instructors. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. Welcome to online college writing here at CNM. My name is Brian Hudson. Hacking is going to be the main metaphor I use for writing in this course, and I think it's important for at least two reasons. First, we'll be focused on digital technology thematically, and second, we'll be doing research about digital communities online. So I'm going to run through a quick overview of the course so that we can go ahead and get started with your assignments for the first week. First of all, you'll want to make sure to read the syllabus carefully. If you have a question about the course, chances are it's going to be covered in the syllabus. The major assignments uh, that we'll be doing in this course are listed here along with the main purpose of those assignments. So the first assignment we'll be doing, which I'm calling a digital literacy narrative blog, the main purpose of that is to show an event in your life where you struggled with a particular digital technology. The second blog, the digital community informational report blog, the main purpose of that blog is going to be explaining the primary research that you'll be doing of a particular digital community. And then your last major assignment, the main purpose of that is going to be to persuade. It's a digital identity argument blog. You're going to be making an argument about that digital community that you did the research on and trying to persuade me and your colleagues um, that that point you're making is correct. Here are the due dates for the major assignments. Uh, these are on the syllabus. Uh, but you'll want to make sure and plan for these so you don't get caught unaware when that major assignment is due. The first blog we'll be doing will focus on a time in your life when you struggled or excelled with a very particular digital technology. The second blog you'll be doing is primary research on a digital community of your choosing. And then for the third blog, we'll be taking all that detective work that you did and we'll be synthesizing it into a persuasive argument. Now, a couple things, a couple helpful hacks I want to mention. Um, when you're posting in the discussion board, make sure you give me a substantial response or a substantial post. Um, you'll also be responding to your colleagues' posts, and you'll want to make sure to give a substantial response to their posts as well. Um, you know, more than just a sentence, you want to be able to move the conversation forward. You don't want it to be the same as clicking like on a Facebook post. Now, when it comes to those discussion boards, I want to make sure that you're um, not uploading a file, but that you're actually cutting and pasting in uh, to the discussion board. So one thing that I would highly recommend, though, is that you do your composing of your discussion board posts in some type of word processing program, such as Microsoft Word. Uh, why do I suggest this? Because sometimes when you're typing in the window in Blackboard and you lose connection, you could lose your whole post. So I would compose it in a word processing uh, system uh, software, save it, and then just cut and paste into Blackboard. That way, if it if Blackboard shuts down for some unknown reason, you have it saved. Now, a couple of terms I want to go through here uh, that might help for our first week is, uh, the first would be free writing. And free writing is just an exercise where you sit down for about five minutes and you just write from the top of your head. You don't have to worry about spelling or grammar um, or anything. You're just trying to get as many ideas out as you can. Uh, it's a brainstorming technique. And you could actually, uh, there is a definition in our textbook under drafting, uh, uh, the drafting chapter, which I believe is chapter six. The next definition that'll help us for 
this first week is a definition that I made particularly for this class, and it's called hacking tools. When you get to the chapter on creating or crafting a personal narrative, you'll notice that the textbook uses a term called craft features. Now this is a very particular term to creative writing um, pedagogy, but it's a little awkward. Um, and I prefer to think of these as hacking tools because we can use these tools to break apart the genre we're looking at and to build your own example of that genre. So anytime I mention hacking tools in the instructions, you can replace that with the, how the book, uh, the, the term the book uses, craft features. But it'll be important that we think of these as hacking tools because that'll help us move to the, uh, the next two genres we'll be working on. Okay, so I'm looking forward to the beginning of class and please send me an email if you have any questions or concerns. You could also send me a message on Blackboard. All right, I'll see you online.